Hello, my name is Nicola Goldsmith. I'm the Clinical Ambassador for Performance Health and I'm here to help you work out the right material for the right splint. Introducing EasyForm. This is the Performance Health product that I absolutely love the best. It will not run away with you, it's really resistant to stretch and it's really appropriate for some very large splints. So here I've got a cutout already done and I wanted to show you a little trick if you do need to get round a corner. If you do a little bit of a pre-stretch, then although it's a very rigid material which doesn't allow a lot of movement, you can make the material perform for you. Just checking the temperature, it's okay. So here we have a wrist extension splint and now because I did a pre-stretch in here you can see that this rolls very nicely and it'll do what I ask it to do. But you can also see how it's not going to extend in length as I work with it and it will hold its position. If I want to make small adjustments then I can and it's just going to fit beautifully well. It'll follow the contour of the hand no need to heavy handle any materials. If, they, if the pattern fits, the splint will fit, and you can see it makes beautiful edges if you cut it at the right temperature. And it's really nice material for working on patients who can't hold a desired position because it's quite rigid, so it will follow exactly as you want it to do. It can be reheated and reshaped as many times as you like, um, and it really gives you maximum control. Now I'm using a 3.2 version here, but I would normally make this out of a, a, a smaller, a thinner material because it is so rigid and as long as you've got good contour, it will hold your position really, really well. So if I just show you around the side, you can see that we've got really nice contour. We've got no fingerprints on it because it just is so resistant to that sort of work. So if you're a novice splinter, it's a really nice material to use. And then you would have a strap across here, one across the wrist, and one at the proximal end.